Now I'm guessing you've clicked on this video because A, you don't own a laptop or computer, B, you feel like you're making just about enough at your current job but not really enough to live your best life, or C, you just like the sound of making some extra money from your phone since you're always on it anyway. Now if that pretty much sums you up, I've got just the thing for you. In today's video, I've put together six fail-proof methods that you can use to start making some extra money on the side from the comfort of your own home with zero experience and no startup costs. Now before we get into this video, let me quickly introduce myself. Hey and welcome, my name is Glow of Gia. I make videos on freelancing, affiliate marketing and earning a passive income online. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's jump right into the first method, which is drop shipping. Okay, wait, before you hop off this video, it's not what you think. This method that I'm about to show you is 100% free. You don't need to build any crazy websites. Don't panic, this video is literally dedicated to super easy methods that absolutely anyone could do. First things first, you're gonna need to find your winning product. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna head to TikTok and type in hashtag Amazon finds or hashtag TikTok made me buy it. And what we're gonna do is actually filter it so it's within the last six months only. And literally all you're gonna do is just like scroll through and have a look at whatever is popping. So this one right here actually has 5.8 million likes. It's like a mini dishwasher. That's kind of cool. I don't use dishwashers, but that's kind of cool. Just as a little side note, I've noticed that like all of these little bits and bobs that do really well are like the kitchenware, just like little things that help out around the kitchen. So just keep that in mind. But the next thing that you would go and do is find that same product, but at the cheapest possible price. So you could go on, let's say eBay, you could go on Alibaba, AliExpress. I personally like to use AliExpress because it's a lot cheaper, but I'll only use it if it says that it's seven day shipping, just because I don't want refunds or returns or chargebacks and stuff like that. So next you're gonna head to bigcartel.com. This is a little website that you can access from your phone and that's where you can build your mini website. Now on here you can list up to five items for free. This is a lot better than Shopify for example for someone who's a complete beginner because you don't have to design an entire website from scratch. And also I understand that not everyone has that money to actually invest into Shopify after the 14 day free trial. So at least Big Cartel is completely free. You could use it for like a whole year and you won't get charged at all if you're listing only five items. Now you're probably sitting there thinking, okay, so how do I make the money now? What you would do is essentially just create a niched social media profile. Now you could go ahead and make, let's say a Pinterest for example, based around like things that will help people around the kitchen, kitchen utensils and stuff like that, like kitchen hat. And you can go ahead and just create pins like top five items you didn't know you needed in your kitchen and you can just go ahead and link it to your big cartel. Now the beauty of this is you're not limited to just one single item. You could go ahead and just put five items that are trending right now on your big cartel and run a whole Pinterest account around it. You could even create a TikTok. If you do have the funds, I definitely recommend that you purchase one of your own products and just start basing TikToks around it so people can see how they're used and stuff like that build a whole following off it you never know that one video could go viral and it could make you loads of sales overall this method is super easy and you could honestly make your first sale within i'd say the first two weeks if you're consistent and obviously depending on your chosen traffic method now let's get into the second method which is freelancing freelancing is so much easier than most people think because you honestly don't even need a real skill or any type of experience to get started obviously if you do have any skills that you can monetize you can go ahead and upload that on let's say fiverr upwork people per hour and stuff like that for the purpose of today's video i'm only going to be showing you like the super easy gigs now guys when i say easy gigs i mean so easy literally anyone could do this Again, zero skill levels. I'm gonna list a whole bunch of gigs on the screen right now. Removing backgrounds. Do you know how easy that is? There's so many little websites and stuff that you can use to remove backgrounds. I personally use Canva. You can go ahead and download, let's say like Photo Room, Lightroom to remove backgrounds and you can put that as a gig on Fiverr. Now, let me show you something, guys. So I'm literally just gonna head to my Fiverr right now and we're gonna search up background remover okay now this seller right here literally charges eight pounds which is about ten dollars on fiverr to remove the background of one single image right and they've got 13 orders in queue now so let's say that all of them are the basic package which is ten dollars that will be a hundred and thirty dollars for simply let me show you how easy this is okay for simply opening an app and let's say we wanted to remove the background of one of my images simple look at that you can just go ahead there we go we literally got rid of the background in 
how long did that take us? Maybe 20 seconds max? I don't know about you guys, but getting paid $10 for 20 seconds while a lot of people are getting paid $10 for a single hour of their time, that sounds pretty good to me. Now, removing backgrounds is one of many gigs, as you could see from the list, that you could go ahead and do with literally no experience. It takes no skill. It takes you literally less than 30 seconds, like I just proved. Just make sure that your account is fully optimized. Have a good profile picture or even a logo. Have a really nice bio and description for all of your gigs. Good thumbnails. And just kind of model of what people are doing in the gig category that you're going into. And yeah, you're ready to go. This is such an easy side hustle. I cannot stress this enough. So getting into method number three, which is selling digital products on Etsy. Selling digital products is a great way to make money because it's super, super passive. So you'd literally just make this one time and it could be making you money for the next few years. So what you'll do is head to Etsy and basically just type in template. Now, as you can see, there's literally resumes or as we like to call them CVs in the UK. There's like budget spreadsheets, wedding seat and charts, wedding menu, all of that jazz. So from looking on here, you can kind of just get a feel of what's really trending what templates are doing really really well on etsy templates that i personally recommend that i'm not seeing on here would be things like flyers pinterest pins instagram posts and business cards those do really really well but yeah if we just click on the resume which is the one at the very top it's a pretty simple minimalist resume and this right here is six pounds 85 per template so let's say it's around ten dollars total per template and if we times ten dollars by 1.6k sales that's sixteen thousand dollars that they made off this one resume sixteen thousand dollars off this one resume if they can do it you most definitely can so how do you start you head to canva again i know you keep on hearing me say canva but this should be a sign for you to go ahead and click the link down in my description i honestly cannot stress enough how good it is as an app i've literally created my logos my banners all of my thumbnails i even managed to build up my fiber to a point where it's making me 400 dollars per month off just my canva alone the best thing about it is that it's completely free for you to use so go ahead and click the canva link below that one's literally got a free trial for you to use with the canva pro so you can get all of the amazing designs all the methods that you've heard me mention canva go ahead and use the link down below so you can get the free trial and be sure that if you use that link that you go ahead and start one of these methods straight away so you can access all of the library on canva including the pro features because after i think 14 days you're going to be put onto the basic package unless you pay but obviously i promised you completely free methods today so yeah make the most of the free trial because when you go back onto the basic you're limited to certain features and templates but yeah it's definitely worth it either way so head into canva now i'm gonna go ahead and type in resume and you got some really nice ones up here i've actually never really seen ones where they have pictures in the uk we don't really do that so yeah i've gone and picked this one it's pretty simple quite basic honestly so what you're gonna do is literally just kind of revamp it so you can go ahead into the style section on canva and you can literally just pick a color palette and fonts that go well together that it's already pre-made basically so this one right here you can see it's literally just gone and changed it again so if you shuffle it it will just kind of adjust the color schemes so i'm gonna go ahead and stick to this and it's literally that simple you just have to change around the colors and the fonts and stuff obviously you can go ahead and just post that to your etsy and wait for the traffic to come in naturally or you can go out of your way to create a niche social media account so you can actually show off these templates pinterest will be the perfect place to be showing off your templates and linking directly to your etsy listing again this is such an easy and passive way to make money i definitely want to get into redesigning templates myself again when i have a bit more time because this is literally just an easy way to make money like you're missing out on coins if you don't try this today method number four is now print on demand this is something that i've actually been doing for i'd say about a year now and i'm literally still making an extra 200 to 500 dollars every single month with all of my redbubble accounts essentially what you would do is create custom designs that could be placed onto mugs t-shirts stickers handbags and stuff like that and you would post these designs onto somewhere like redbubble now redbubble is a leading print on demand marketplace it's actually got its own organic traffic so even with that you'll be making sales passively they could be putting your products in front of millions of people every single month for free the beauty of this method is that you don't have to handle any customer service any of the shipping you don't have to handle inventory all you have to do is create the design and post it redbubble literally manages everything else so every time someone makes a purchase of your design that 
that's when it's created by Redbubble and then sent off and then you get a cut after they remove the manufacturing fees. Now before you panic, these designs are super easy to make. What I personally recommend that you do is you head to redbubble.com and you just see like what the trend and designs are. So let's say we wanted to look at stickers specific. You can see that it's super simple design. So for example, hang on, let me overthink this. You can literally recreate that on Canva, you guessed it. Let me go ahead and create that. It's literally gonna take me less than 20 seconds. I'm gonna copy the text, uh, find a font that I like. I'm gonna remove the top one and then paste into here. And it's literally that simple. You just go ahead and download it onto a transparent background, which can be done on Canva itself. And just as a little heads up, you're gonna have to go on like Google or Safari, whatever it is that you use on your phone and go on the actual website itself, not the app to upload your designs. And it's literally that simple. You just post your designs up there. And again, you can either wait for the Redbubble algorithm to kind of place you and help you get those sales, or you can go ahead and create a niche social media account for example on instagram or again a pinterest method number five task test and review now i'm gonna break this down into three sections because it kind of all fits under one umbrella but it's three different things so with this method you're essentially getting paid to simply test out or review products or websites or to complete short and easy tasks now to test you can go ahead and use this app called Usalytics, where you can earn up to 90 dollars per test so with this you can literally just be getting paid to test out a website see if there's any spelling mistakes and stuff like that Usalytics is one of the only apps that i haven't personally used before but i've heard a lot of good people around me have used it before and they've said that they've made some serious money now keep in mind you won't be eligible for every single test but if you go ahead and check in regularly there is a nice amount of money to be made on here so for tasking now you can go ahead and download Toloka this I hope I'm saying it correctly Toloka Toluca Toloka it's a great little app that's available in most parts of the world including Africa because I know that there's a lot of apps and programs and stuff that are quite restricted over there but you can get paid for super easy tasks like updating information on companies keep in mind with Toloka you'll get paid like maybe let's say 50 cents per action maybe a dollar so it's not like a crazy amount of money to be made but it is good say if you're someone that likes to watch Netflix and do something at the same time say if you're bored and you don't know what to do with yourself at least you could be making some money on the side now to get paid to review I've actually used a whole bunch of apps but the one that I definitely recommend is Paul Pay. I personally found that Paul Pay paid me the most and the interface was just a little bit better it had less crashes and bugs and stuff like that when I was younger and I had a bit too much time on my hands I did make about 75 pounds which would be the equivalent of let's say hundred dollars with Paul Pay from literally just reviewing stuff even my opinion on like places that I normally go to shop or how a website looks you're basically just completing surveys on a product or a brand or obviously a website keep in mind that you're only eligible for certain surveys and some of them do pay a little bit more than others the highest pay in surveys that I personally saw on there were about three to five dollars and they typically take me about 10 to 15 minutes to complete out of all of the methods the testing tasking and reviewing is probably the most time consuming but it's still a great way to make money on the side especially in your free time it's better than like scrolling through your Instagram you're actually making some money off your phone method number six is affiliate marketing for those of you who are new to the affiliate marketing world affiliate marketing is basically where you get paid to promote someone else's product so every time someone makes a purchase through your link you get paid a cut from that now I've been doing affiliate marketing since 2020 which was actually the year that I lost my job because of the pandemic and this side hustle has now become my mainstream of income making me 10 times more than what I was making in retail so so how do you get started with affiliate marketing firstly you'll need to niche down and find a good product within that niche i personally recommend that you find a niche that you're actually passionate about so say if you're into gardening or something like that you can go ahead and just google gardening affiliate programs if you're into fashion you can go ahead and just search up your favorite brands and type in affiliate program next to it or most websites if you scroll all the way down they'll say like partner program or affiliate program at the bottom which you can go ahead and sign up for and just start promoting straight away so after you get your custom link that ready to promote you can either shorten it with let's say bitly or genius link or you can go ahead and create a beacons page i'm going to leave the link down in the description for beacons io so you can get signed up the reason why i'm recommending beacons is because that would basically be in replacement for a landing page obviously if you have a phone you won't be able to access things like get response 
and MailChimp and stuff. Now, if you didn't know this, most social media platforms will not allow you to post your affiliate links directly. You'll get marked as spam and could potentially get your account deleted. So yeah, just be wary of that. From here, all you have to do is get that product in front of the right audience. And you can do this by creating a Facebook group in your niche. You could do this by starting a whole Instagram account. I personally recommend that you start a TikTok. TikTok is literally the fastest growing platform out there. There's literally no other social media platform that I can think of where you can get let's say 2,000 followers within a week. But yeah, literally just see what other people are doing in that niche and just kind of model off that whilst also promoting my product, directing people to the link up in my bio or in my description, wherever it is. And yeah, that's the final method. I definitely recommend it. If you are interested in getting started, I do have a link called the Business Builder Challenge, which is down below. It's something that I personally used and it's actually what got me into affiliate marketing in the first place. So yeah, go ahead and check that out. And that is all from me for today. If you are gonna try out any of these other methods, let me know which one down in the comments. I might just drop a full in-depth tutorial on a specific method if you guys are interested. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and actually got some value from it. If you did, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next one.